You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davy. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right, and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. You won't get away with that. Trevor, always the problem. So, guy. I think we're going to tie up some loose strings around the FIB scenario. It's going to be interesting to see how this ends. Very much looking forward to it. It's definitely been one of the longest games so far. This has definitely been a long, long game. It's been going for at least, I'd say, 18 or so hours, which is really good. I'm not complaining about that at all. We completely missed that turn off, so let's go around here. This probably would have been easy if we went this way, and we might be able to... So I should be looking where I'm driving instead of just looking forward, but... Oh, hello, Ricky. Ricky from Life Invader. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but it's kind of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job in this climate. You gotta help me. Hey, if there's something, I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there. Alrighty. I thought we'd be able to smash through these barricades, but obviously not. So we're going to have to go make do with another car. Thankfully, we're in a rather high fashion or high end part of Los Santos. So there's no shortage of nice looking cars around here. I just hope none of the police hear us. So at the moment, we're going to a clothes shop called Posenbees or something. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be parodying, but I'm sure it's parodying something. Let's just find the stop right over here. Bonson Biz, Portola Drive. All right, buy a tuxedo in Ponson Biz to attend the Meltdown premiere. All right, so that's a movie. Dad, I'll be at Ponson Biz soon. I've got a ride. You better get a badass tax. Will do. As badass as I can get it. Well, I just wanted to get a suit, a uh, tuxedo instead of a suit, so. $10,000 will have to do. We can't really choose the color, though, can we? Oh, well. It'll have to do. Only tuxedo is available. Bye. Enjoy. The producer does not drive himself to the premiere. Come on! Oh, nice. We've got a limo waiting for us. Limewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? <laughs> Surprised he can fit through the sunroof. Woo! My dad's a movie producer! I love the music as well. Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy. I'm going to ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm going to get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm going to sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm going to use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm going to make even shittier movies than my dad does. Because I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! You see the Strizz Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Right, hey, I've got no idea where that is, Get but I just read it here. out. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. B to the I to the P. Jimmy! Read my necros! Entitled! E N T! Title! Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop Chill! I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look, I need to say about Molly, man, I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. 
I told you to slow it down, Slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. So, go to the red carpet. We're already pretty much there. As everyone starts taking photos of us. Uh, you know, Let's wait I'm for really our son. Sorry, even you did make it pretty the hell is he wearing? He's wearing oh, sneakers. Oh, Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. Look at Mikey's strutty well, stuff. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards, Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Huh? Really modern stuff. Uh, pervert. <laughs> come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question, get in here tight. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much, I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay, all right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional, Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go, thank you so much. Excuse me, excuse me, come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, oh, Laszlo. Oh, shit, come on, shit dick. <laughs> Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. Probably not the best idea to actually get in the limo. So you got two minutes to sacrifice yourself for your family, dickhead. All right. Let's get in there. Hurry up, Jimmy. As he glitched what through happened? the door. I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. Just... This is just a movie guy, right? He he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Let's That's hope so. not a family oh, car. God. All right, Jimmy, you keep good. yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. I'm gonna have to go in and pack in some heat. Daddy's home, you, you, you bricks. You. I'm seriously gonna shoot you. The you fuck are you doing? Heck? I think I should have done that. What I'm with Tracy. We gotta get in there, Michael. He's in there with our girls. Stop, Stop it. it. Don't you dare shoot, mate. Stop. Oh, my daughter. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of amusing, though. That's definitely worth it. Tracy died. All right, we're going to have to try this once again. I, just, I shot the guy, but I guess I just shot Tracy in the head, though. And now she's dead. We'll be right back. All right, we got this guy. There he is. Okay. 
stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the building! No one leaves! Jeez, he's gotten all intense right now. <laughs> Clearly has some Merryweather. Bastardly Merryweather bastards. Oh god, they're gassing up the house? It seems like they're gassing up the house. Not looking good. Or is that just the game being all weird? Frag out! Not yet! Stay put! We got more names on our list! Neither do I! Just keep calm! I'm fine, Trace. You just stay down, sweetie. Brian the dick. No one's gonna kill you. Whoa! Daddy's got this. What the hell is this guy behind me? Oh, there's a heck of a lot of them behind me. Oh, you mate, open the door. He's waiting for us. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uncalled for. Get out of here! Grab the weapon! Sweet Jesus! Uh, it seems like there's a truck outside. Here we go. It's coming in. Oh god, multiple. Alright, go to our family. We should be safe now. For the most part, at least. Trace! Amanda! I think they're gone! What the hell was that? Oh, is this guy? How come he didn't show up on the map? He nearly killed me. That's not good. Uh, hopefully, there's going to be a bit more health around here. It doesn't seem like it. I'd expect there to be a bit of extra health in the kitchen, at least. Anyway, let's go to our family. See what they've got to say. I got you, you dick. Uh, you be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. Fuck. You got Jimmy. Yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off! <laughs> Get the fuck off me! I, I thought I was on that guy! So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. And everything's back to being just normal and casual after a uh, military operation. Decided to come back by a house as you do. Could have ended up very badly. I guess we did fail it once, but I goddamn daughter Tracy got in the way of my shots. They came to my house, Lester. My house. So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. Well, I hate to say it, but Merriweather isn't short on excuses to come. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. That's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. All right. All right, it seems like shit's going to start getting real soon. Which I'm looking forward to, no doubt. Let's go ahead and uh, quickly select where we're going up on the minimap. The big score. Sounds good. 
We're going to be calling anyone, or is that just Lester's job? I think Lester's going to be doing the planning and all that. There's that Jesus guy. I'm surprised he's still there, because after all, we did punch him in one of the first couple of episodes. Try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love space. I'm gonna take care of this. Did not see that car at all there. Oh, the lady's dead as well. <laughs> and the head's on the horn. As you do. Just a typical day over here in San Andreas. Alright, so he's a strip club. I'm expecting all my other buddies to be here as well. Then we're gonna go in this way, there we go. That's the entrance. Mr. good to see you. To see you too. Surprised they know my know me by my name, but as you do. Must be regulars here. We're going back here. I hate this part because we can't run in here. Look, but don't touch. Play next tissues as you do. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you, all right, excuse all right, all me. Right, enough, huh? enough. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little uh, out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one, we hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. We'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, or I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it uh, again. I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, uh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? 
Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Wait, so let's have a closer look. The tunnel ambush. I think the tunnel, tunnel ambush definitely sounds much better, so that's that'd be subtle, wouldn't it? I don't know. Tempting either way. I love my helicopters as well. Um. Hmm. Well, well what was the tunnel ball? I think the tunnel ball was obvious, so wasn't it? Let's go with obvious. <laughs> hmm. Um. All right. Uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. <laughs> I should know. Uh, Let's go back. But what if we go subtle? Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Actually, I like obvious better. So, let's go with Eddie. Eddie Toe. Now you can count on... Yep. And who else? Oh, we can only get carry him anyway. Gunman one is with Franklin burrowing in and pulling out. I'll the get Gustavo. Jobs for the bureau team. And chef as well. This is the big one. Is there anything you want to go over? Nope. We are going to be splitting up quite a bit of the cut, but it's going to be done. Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him and him personally to come at the front door? The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douche. Okay, all right, oh, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Man, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. I love how Franklin's like the youngest one, but he's still the most mature out of all of the three. Oh, and now we can run. Oh, no, we can't. No. So we're forward to running. But this is going to be very interesting to see how we get out of here and uh, what we've got to do. Hey, man. God, do any of you ladies like wearing clown oh. <laughs> It's uh, inbred hillbilly friends. Get his name, but whatever. Trace? Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy. Surprisingly wise words coming from our daughter. I wonder if we can actually cross that bridge. No, I guess we couldn't because it goes into that building. Pretty cool if we could. So I'm going to be probably be waiting on a phone call at the moment. So let's just go drive around for a bit. Here we go. Okay, there's a tunnel bore machine at a depot in East Los Santos. Down in the yard there, there are guys working there around the clock and guards as well. Try and get in and out without drawing attention to yourself. Lol. Uh, I don't think it's that funny though. Lester, but whatever you say. It's actually very close to us, thankfully. So I'll go do that now. Okay, it seems like that's where the construction site is. Here. If you're drowning in regret, dead or fret, we're gonna power you through with some great tracks. Still the driller. We're gonna have to drive this guy over. Forgive me! Alright, I guess because we killed that guy, nobody's realized anything. Come on, get in there quick. Hey!
was definitely going to be quite a tough fit. I think we could have gone out the other way as well. Maybe. It would have been... Yeah, it would have been tough. Oh, the cop saw us. I wonder how the hell we're going to get away from him. We're going to have to do some crazy stuff. There's also a pretty crazy looking drill. I've got to say. How exactly we're we gonna get away from the police? I have no idea. So let's just keep on driving. All right, I think this is where. Actually, I've got no idea where this is. Thought well, this was where we stole the garbage truck that we had for the other mission that we had to do. Seems like it's around this area. I've not crashed anything. Crashed into anything. We're all good at the moment. I just want to find an off-ramp or something that we can just jump through. Get the cops off our back. I mean, maybe I could shoot at him, but then that would raise us to like three stars and that's not good. Still right behind us. Wonder if we could do no. Okay, can't just jump over the bridge. Be sweet if we could. Random cement truck. Really got to start thinking about how we're going to get away. Let's keep going around here. Alright, we've lost track. There's another police car coming right in front of us though. So it's going to find us. Just smash into it. Beautiful. And there's another one coming up. the police car doing driving around on the wrong side of the road yeah, I don't want to shoot at any of them because that way the police are gonna get mighty angry and that's not my goal um, how am I gonna get through here just barge through them and hope for the best Right, here we go. Are there any jumps up around here? What the here we go. Fuck there it is. Wrong with you? Shit. Boop. We're going to be right back. Alrighty, so we're back to where the driller is. Thankfully, due to the power of editing magic movies. I also figured out that we can get to the highway over there right on the right hand side, so that's pretty good. I want to kill this guy though. There we go. Uh, he's not dead, but that's good enough. And we're going to try to get away. So it's going to be interesting to see how we're going to do that. Considering there's some police coming right around here. Let's go around on the wrong side of the road. That sh oh no, they know where we are. Right, this is going to be tough. Mighty tough. Actually, they might have lost track of us at the moment. Here we go. They have indeed. This is more, much more promising now. Oh, God. More police, more police. All right. This should be good now. If I make it out alive and perfect and happy, I'll be pretty ecstatic. Let's just go in through here and hope for the best. Shall we? Oh, God, if the police see me here. Oh, oh, yes. We did it. Michael. Yeah. 
So we got one of these uh, cutter things. What do you want me to do with it? I paid off a guard at the parking lot around from the bank. He'll open the gates for you. Okay, if you trust him. Someone tells me he's gonna backstab us, but either way, we're gonna have to see if it's gonna work out our way. This cutter looks really weird. Interesting to see how we get it to work. I'd love to be able just to use it once we figure out how to use it, just in free play, that'd be pretty sweet. Best thing about driving a truck and why driving style is that I don't need to worry about anything in front of me. I'm just gonna drive straight through it. Glad we got away from the cops pretty simply though. Wasn't too bad. Is you'd expect it to be mighty difficult with a truck like this. Well, that was pretty cool. Guess that was some sewage system or something. That little tunnel down there. There's a spillway anyway. So. That's what we should have had for quite a while, some music. Slurry in a hurry. Looked a lot like the Burger King um, sign or something like that. Anyways, let's go find where this garage is. With the paid out cop. All right, it's this one. I got an arrangement with your weirdo buddy. Dump the truck up there and I'll take care of it. And that is mission passed, driller. Took us eight minutes, but at least we had a bit of fun in taking that driller. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. We'll be back preparing for the highest of all heists. Well, I think now we'll need to go. No, we'll just wait out and see what Lester's got to say. All right, Lester, the drill's at the lot. Good work, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a fair amount of prep work still to do. All right, place a suitable vehicle in the bank's parking garage. This will be used as a getaway vehicle. I wonder if this vehicle is going to be okay. There we go, it's suitable. All right, so what I'll do is I'll modify it. Let's just wait up until our song. It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Bantam Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Nope. Can't do it, son. Get yourself out of this mess. Okay, well, how much of my father's money do you think it'll take to get me out of this situation? Jeez, my son truly is an asshole, but until next time, we'll be pimping out our car. If you guys are enjoying this series, until next time, we'll see you later and we're very close to finishing the storyline.